All right, hello everyone. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Nice seeing you here. What a crazy coincidence. We are here right now uh, in a little, a little cheeky bronze matchup for you guys. It's going to be these two teams, woohoo, versus Madness. Both bronze teams, and I believe Madness is first time ever being cast, which is exciting. We'd love to see it. I'm here right now in this, this little booth, this little comfy booth with uh, the wonderful Dime, one of our newest casters, here alongside me. And of course, you know him, JG, he's on the cams. He's gonna make everything look pretty for you guys. Dime, you're doing an update. You know, you forgot to update Echo. It happens, it happens. Yeah, my bad. Why my are you doing bad. that? How are you feeling about this matchup, dude? Well, honestly, I think it's gonna be a quite a close match. Uh, I believe both teams are generally, I'd say quite closely uh, ranked in the standings uh, side of things. But, um, I mean, I've played against Madness before. I think I've played against Wuhu. So, honestly, they're two pretty good teams. I just want to see how it goes. Yeah, good, man. That, that's definitely the good, uh, you know, it's good start there for us. It's going to be good. If you know them, you're the expert. I am merely a um, silly little caster with no knowledge of Echo. Or any of the teams. That's not true, but I, I don't know a lot of teams. I need to get involved in more Echo stuff, more, more EU stuff, you know? I do way too much NA stuff. And who cares about yeah. NA? Right? Right, guys? Isn't that right, JG? JG on cam <laughs> says, yes, reset. I agree with you completely. I also do not like NA and um, think the EU is much better in every single way, honestly. I can confirm. I As can I quote confirm. word for word from JG. Yep. Right. We are just waiting for one more player to get in here. Whenever that fourth player does come in, we can get started here. Uh, that is the Madness player. Mad. Absolutely madness. But hey, that's right. Uh, what we're here, Dime, anything that you wanna you wanna mention? Um that's a hint hint well, by the way. I don't know if I should mention it yet on a series tab. I don't know if I should. Well that was ominous. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know if I should mention it, man. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't know. Alright, I guess I'll mention it. Uh yeah, we we have what's wrong with NA players? Nothing is wrong with it. No one said that, Kaleki. No one was say Was anyone saying that? I don't remember anybody saying that. Um, all I was saying is that EU players. Well, that's where I was at. I am unbiased as a caster. I cannot have, legally speaking, any biases. Um, it's just sort of a fact that I, you know, I happen to be EU as well. But that's like a coincidence, you know? I've run the numbers. Um, I've looked at my it own was, team. It was... 50-50 chance, honestly. Well, I don't know. I, I looked at all my, my favorite players, and it was me, mm -hmm. um, a couple of my other teammates, and I was like, dude, well, uh, you know, don't mm -hmm. assume Rito's, Rito's biases. Yeah, true. Don't assume. How, honestly, I'm offended. I'm offended. I take <laughs> that very personally. We in the casters have a Retap Master is EU Master is NA Diamond. Can we get it? Can we get a mod in here, please, to uh, ban this ban this player here? Um, hold on. Um, JG, uh, hold we need on, a ban so, on okay, yeah, JG, uh, cast, cast. I, I'm also a mod here. I can I, I can just do it with that. I'm not gonna. Obviously not. <laughs> Look, it's okay. We respect your opinion, and we want you to stay here so that you can prove to people that you are wrong. Uh, yo, Tyro fam says for search freeze. Anyone does not know Tyro is a lovely little NA community. Uh, it's, it's all over, isn't it? All over community for players who are more mature and want to get some more of that internal you know, experience. Some nice little community. So why does everyone say that? Just let them cast. Yeah, come on, guys. The, we, as casters, the only thing we hate more than good egg game matches is good audience participation. Um, 
There's nothing nothing worse than when the chat's talking to you and you have a good time. But we appreciate EU, NA, and OCE. That's true. We do appreciate all regions. Good. You're absolutely right, Dash. We just appreciate EU even more. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. This is a good way to start off the cast. Um, we are. <laughs> really yeah, yeah. I'm, you're joking. I'm also joking. It's all right. I, we, we love NA. I cast a lot of NA. And um, I do actually enjoy it quite a lot. And OCE, a morning for me, and it's beautiful. As someone who lives in NA and plays for fun, can confirm L <laughs> NA trash. <laughs> That's all I needed. That is all I needed to hear. I only needed a single person to say it for my biases to be confirmed. That in fact, uh, NA is bad. I could probably probably be ignite to be honest. Um, I reckon if I one v four ignite, what do you reckon, Dime? If I want to be forward, ignite. Retap, see, here's the thing, retap. See, by yourself, honestly, I I personally, this is my personal opinion here, I uh -huh. agree, I think that you yep. can take down gravity and ignite at the same time. That's just my opinion, alright? I'm just I'm just throwing it out there, alright? I don't no know, to... gravity is EU saying, and EU is pretty insane. I mean, actually, um, you've got a really good point, maybe. I mean, maybe if it was you and me, we could take on gravity, but I mean, I don't know. Um, I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I, I'm not sure. Is that the one you see? Yo, everyone's favorite caster NA. Uh, Retep better than Master Tier. Dude, we just we just won a round against the Master Tier team, right? Um, so, you know, and they may not have been given it 100%, but uh, we were. And we got one round, and then we ended it immediately. Because we were like, you know, we don't want to get, like, smashed next time. Can I join cast? Absolutely not. How dare you? Um, I mean... I mean, As like, an NA England. player, come oh. represent NA. Go on, Luke. Get in here. Get in here. Go on, Luke. Get in here. Okay, go on. You message me. On, I didn't read it. Um, join the VC. Hey, Luke. Hi, how's it going? Hello. Hello, Hello Luke. Represent. You think Luke would? Luke never jokes. I would never joke. I don't. I'm not a joker. That's true. He's not a joker. Yeah, I'm He's serious. Not ignite even. Uh, he is just Luke. We have woo in the chat from Skittles. So, so, Luke. How's it going, man? I mean, we have two beautiful EU bronze teams. We've just been talking about uh, how good, you know, EU is. Of course, you would agree that EU is much better than NA in almost every way. I mean, you know, oh, absolutely. what do you think about it? I mean, I'm not even <laughs> kidding, though. I'm not even kidding, okay? Like, listen, to that. listen to this. I, this is outside of the context of, of this game, but but <laughs> this is the way I look at it, okay? OCE, Leviathan, dominant. They're going to win. Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. done, done. Huh? The rest, that's up to really debate. You know, ex exciting stuff for Bill and the first Japanese team. Good for them. NA, Ignite's going to win. No debate. Exciting to see who will be second. Maybe it's Austin Burners. Maybe it's New York Kings. You know, there's the update. Well, whatever. EU. Right. Yep. Ajajaj. Envy. Phantoms. Team Gravity. And team uh, Jesters. <laughs> yep. It's completely up for debate who's going to win it. That's so true. Simply true. because true. there are... Simply because there's more debate there, EU is definitely the best division. Easy. No, no there doubt. You, agree. you hear I that? Agree. Confirmed agree from an unbiased opinion. That is, um, it's from an that NA fact, unbiased opinion, by the way. I'd like to point that out. NA. An, NA yeah, unbiased opinion that, in fact, uh, EU is better right. in every I agree single with you, Dead Comet is Master Tier Champs. Retex is going to solo uh, all those and then actually win this season. True, so, uh, dude. Yeah. 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 Earlier, I, I I shot a free pointer, and I, I hit it. Wow. See, they can. <laughs> no one else can do that. No one else can do that. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yeah, wait. yeah. yeah. Um, wait, hey, did it what you see? You're supposed to support <laughs> NA. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Oh. Uh, then actually, you're right. EU's trash. So is OCE. In fact, I think uh, NA is actually the best because. What um, I mean, that is. Yeah. No, what I actually think though is I'm actually really hyped for uh, the EU Master Tier. I think on a on a on a tangible like objective level, NA has the most players. It's the highest percent of it being the best. Um, you know, there's there's so few teams in OC, so few teams in in uh, in NA. Uh, sorry, in uh, in EU uh, relatively to NA. So I mean, objectively, I, I would say NA is the best. Like straight up, just some like, just from player counts. Um, but I really am most excited about EU Master Tier finals because i think it literally can go anywhere um where oce and na is you know we know who's going to come first but the rest is going to be a bit of a rush oh yeah dude i mean that's a good answer 
That's a very good answer. I like that. Uh, and that's true. Yeah, I mean, I, this season, Gravity lost. Well, last season, didn't lose a single game. Yeah. Did they even lose a round? I don't they think they lost, lost one round. round. One round, that was Andy. it. They lost one single round the whole season. And then this time they lost three games, including against the bottom or second bottom um, team in Master. Like, yeah. So yeah. it's a oh, good place in a minute. That was uh, obviously uh, Everest. And a great game. Definitely go watch the highlights of it that is on the YouTube channel. Which you should go subscribe to. If you're not subscribed already, dude, what are you doing? You know, I don't know. Ahead. What am I doing? What am I doing? You tell me what, what? I'm doing. Something wrong. Something very wrong. If you um, are interested in subscribing, though, the link uh, is now in the chat. So uh, we'd love to have you uh, too quick. We're trying to get we're trying to get two and a half k subscribers for finals, which is uh, here in three weeks, two weeks, three weeks. Regardless, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. All the creators, you're like, what does the creator team do? Well, they make our like sick overlays and, and all that sort of fun stuff uh, and our outro videos, but they also create content for that channel. So make sure you check it out. VODs will be on a separate channel. Uh, it, I believe they're still uploaded to VRML underscore Echo Arena, the old YouTube channel. Um, but uh, yeah, so check it out. Check it out. It'll be a good time. Also, if you are interested uh, in joining the production team, what should they do, Rita? What should they do? <laughs> Don't know, man. No idea. Um... <laughs> They should apply, absolutely they should apply. There we go, that's the method we have finally already up here. But yes, application, boom. Oh, you got the first. God damn it, Luke. Slow <laughs> down, man. <laughs> Let me post the link. <laughs> I'll tell you what I can post, though, is the start of a match. Dime is taking us in right now. Dime, kill him. Well, thank you, Retep. Uh, yeah, by the way, again, guys, again, Anytime. cast applications are open. Um, but now, you know what is open? Currently, the midfield. Funny timing. It's going to be a... Is that a long shot? Oh, my God. Not quite going in, though. It's going to be a stack race. Let's see who can get there first. Going to be on the side of Madness. Hidden looking to pick this one up. However, we actually have a drop from Hidden by the looks of things. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, it's a shame. We've just started out and they've had to drop. But hey, this is going to be taken. Oh, straight oh, in. Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. A lovely setup and a lovely finish. Woohoo. Starting off. Very nice and strong. Two points up and a pause. All right, let me analyze. Let me analyze this, okay? Oh, oh God, Luke, Luke, God. Luke, okay. Um, wait, wait, I need to introduce this properly. Guys, we do, though, have an expert from the wings here from NA flown all the way over to EU to analyze right. this game. Luke, I mean, yeah. big game right now. A lot of stuff happening. What are you seeing? Oh, my goodness. I, I mean, what an exciting first 35 seconds of this match. Really back and forth. Uh, I mean, Madness yep. came out really strong, right? I mean, I, a neutral toast, you know, they're speedy, right? But but you know how speedy these folks were? No. I, hold on, I'm pulling up through Spark. They were, uh, they were two and a half <laughs> seconds. Two and a half seconds. Oh, that's that's quite, so right? fast. That, that, that is fast. Like, yeah, that's, fast like, yeah. that's actually really fast. Like no, like right. no, no troll. Like that's pretty good. Like master tier is like one point six. So like they're a mm -hmm. second off master oh, tier, wow. but they're but that's they're but they're Damn. way uh, newer than master tier players. So I mean, absolutely phenomenal joust times uh, uh, from both these teams. I mean, Madness, honestly, um, really good stacks, really good possession uh, up front. But I mean, I do have to commend com uh, commend Woohoo. Not sure it was a four v three. Sure it was an easy goal. But I really want to shout out their stack recovery. Not the speed, not the accuracy, um, but really, uh, you know, obviously, you know, early on, early days, whatever. But Madness weren't able to get back. Not because of stuns, not because of any of that. Although, you know, shout out to people who do stun stunning is a big part of the game, and I I, I love stuns. But Woohoo had really good. They were awareness aware of aware of where their teammates were, and three of them clumped together. Which you're like, well, that's three. That's one too many. Yeah, yeah okay, fair. But three of them were able to connect really quickly and get that easy goal um, because of their stack recovery speed. So I really do want to commemorate Woohoo for that. But I'm excited to see what Madness can do here in this game. Uh, I mean, I know we've only 35 seconds in, but. Uh, that being said, I mean they've had uh, they had a, a strong, quick stack play uh, when they were at full strength. So I think it can uh, definitely be a fun game. That wow, that was some pretty damn good analysis, Luke. I appreciate that was you. like thirty seconds of of content, and you've turned it into a full analysis. But yeah, I actually fully agree with everything you said there. I, you know, it's so so important. You cannot rate that that not just stack speed you said, but also that reforming stacks coming back together again, all that stuff. Definitely so important, right? Um, I am having a look here at the side as well. We are now 18 minutes past our start time. We have another cast. 
in 10 minutes? No, uh, no, no. This is the one. This is the one. All right. <laughs> Never mind. I'm telling you, Rutep is going to tell him to, like, grab at your best bandons, bro. It's going to be insane, honestly. It could, it could I will, do. I will bet money on it. All right, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to set the time limit on it. Um, They have, like, two minutes, right? Because, you know, it was kind of a false start, whatever. We meant to start anyway, like, ten minutes. It should be ten minutes is, like, the latest you can usually do. Uh, if they can get a finish started up, I'm going to tell them this as well. In two minutes, then we're good. Otherwise, you know, for our next team, let's make sure we can get all our games cast. We we'll probably have to, might have to switch around and... Uh, you know, we don't know this too much. But, you know, I believe in them. They can do it, and they can always do a 3v4. Mm -hmm. So, hey, yeah, JG's yeah. already messaged them. Yeah. This guy's on it. Hidden, if you are a uh, league sub, then... Uh... And you're a valid sub for them, then 100% you could sub for Madness, but you could have to reach out to them. We're not, we don't, we don't deal with that. No, we, all we do is sit here and look at the teams and go. Someone Damn. did drop out Dimash Smash. Good. Also, shout out to Dimash Smash. How many games are you at now? Last time we talked, you were at 40 games. How many games do you have now? Do you have 50 yet? Oh, have you Dimash doubled Smash, it? You're at 80? Yeah, it's Dimash Smash. I... It's him. It's him. Oh, what a king. oh my god. <laughs> really? Yeah. No yeah. way. How many are you at right now? Dimash, tell us. The people want to know. Ooh. Come on. They're counting. Don't ghost me. Oh also, they are back for before, so they have still a minute left, and they'll be good. 70 ish They've doubled it. Oh yeah. Woo. Let's good go, lad. Dimash Smash. Keep that up. Oh, my God. He's going to be 70. Next, next oh, my coming. goodness. Goaded. Oh, no. Doesn't get to be in, but we do get to be back. Look at that. The time is ticking down again. We've heard the analysis from Luke. Maybe they heard it too. We're only hope in that time. Come on, Dime. Take us in once again. Well, <laughs> thank you, Rita. Here we go again. Magnus taking the Kiwi role for Magnus. Funny that rhymes. Uh, Going to be in the hands of Morgshan Media, trying to send that pass to their teammate. Not quite going into the hands though. However, D6 there to recover, making the nice pass to Monkey Boy. Monkey Boy, let's see if he can make the shot. Goes for the pass, but unfortunately, Morkshan going to get stunned, unable to recover. However, though, D6 going to get hands on that disc now. Yeah, taking it up now. It's bouncing above Woohoo's side. And they recover it. Madness, do. Oh, and they're going to spread out. Monkey Boy definitely doing some good positioning there, working out across the floor. As they get it through, no! Oh, Gomzik takes it away. Woohoo! It's out. Yeah, that disc going straight out now into Magnus' side. Let's see who can recover it first. It's going to be a stack race. However, right now, Madness looking strong in their defense. Even though, you know, they are two points down, they're still looking strong, you know, taking all the time they have in the world, keeping control of the disc in their half. That's what we like to see here, especially, you know, in such a high pressure situation, you want to be able to keep you're calm and Morkshine Media right now they're doing exactly that trying to work it up the field unfortunately though looks like maybe uh Uhu looking to get a stack there not quite though D6 gonna take this one upfield we have above there's Monkey Boy again clambering at the top Joe Mama that I right, whatever um <laughs> it's gonna be <laughs> uh bronze teams uh these guys are both bronze and it's actually man is his first cast ever so, yeah, let's see what they do. Good to see what they do here under the pressure of the cast. They go in, they take the oh. shot. No! Oh, the ding, ding, it's sent away and again. But Madness have recovered it. Accidentally clearing it out. No! They did! Oh, unfortunately, have cleared it back to their own side. See if Madness can recover, though. Looks like they have got a stack ready for it. But no, Ruhu's stack. They're going to get there first. Let's see if they can get the shot off. Not quite. Now Morkshan is trying to send that down into the midfield. D6. He has got a hand on it. Let's see what he can do with the disc, with the possession. Maybe looking to go for a nice pass. And he does. The voice cracks are coming in strong. Let's see who can get to that <laughs> disc first. No one bother looks at it, but D6 now going to get a hand on it. Uh, it bounces down below. Bounces the oh, in the hand of Gom. Gomzik like, takes it out. I feel like Gom, he's done like a dong. You know, like Gom. As uh, Mork takes that one. A shot! No! Oh, that was a beautiful shot, but the goalie was right there on shield, facing out the pass, maybe? Question mark. As it, that, yeah, it's a great play if you can get those done. Hey, Queen Ang! That's a gun. As it is, gonna get taken. Oh, by Madness once again. Mork goes for the clear. Mork passes it instead. And with that, they're gonna get the clear. A lovely pass into it. Something makes it clean. Now, oh, this is open in 
Let's see, Ruhu's side. Sorry, I almost forgot their name for a second. However, D6, let's see if he can make me forget the goal they've conceded. Let's see, again, no, a ding. Monkey Boy going for that shot, but no. Oh my God, for this going back and forth, that's an open goal. And that is a shot, Madness 08, two points now. Oh my goodness me, people. Honestly, Equalizer Oops. already, you know, five minutes, 50 in the game. Rita, how you doing, man? You good? Oh, good, I'm good. I was saying, you, you, you called it, right? Early on, yeah, you man. were like, hey, it's going to be a close game, Rita. And it is. Exactly, man. It is, in fact, a close exactly. game. It's two all, half the round gone. And he's down below. Mangus takes it back in hand. Mangus wants the madness to get those goals. But madness needs to move the disc up as they are, you know, working it. I was, I was trying to rhyme it with M's, but it didn't work. Mm. Is that Rita? Is that Queen Ang? 1342? <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, yes, it is. How's it going? And it is going to be D6 taking that one up, walking out, taking the shot. No! Oh, oh definitely getting stunned out there. Unfortunately, Monkey Boy has it once again. The shots and a beautiful oh. zero angle there means Monkey Boy is going to grapple that one straight into that goal. And now Madness are back on that top. You know, especially Madness now, they're two points up. I feel like I have to mention this though. Woohoo's defense right now is really strong. It was not this strong when my team played against them right now. Honestly, they are looking like they could easily save a lot of shots from Madness. I hate to say it. I'm not trying to be biased here, but they are looking ex especially strong. However, you know, Madness though, especially um, with them being a bronze team and I think a new team as well. And as well, especially again, with them being the first cast, they are taking oh. their love especially well and taking that shot especially well. Morkshine Media putting on uh, the three pointer. What beautiful. Oh my god, that was a beautiful shot. That was, I was lovely. That. I enjoyed that one very much. A nice little three pointer here. As it is going to be ticking down the time again. Once again, now, woohoo. Woo, are back on top. Uh, not back on top. They have back with the disc. As they're going to try and work it up into that tunnel. Gizmo takes a long pass forward. It just does not quite connect though. So it on top right now. Bouncing up, bouncing down, bouncing into the hand of Monkey. And again, again. We're seeing Madness with the, the possession time. Uh, definitely something to keep note of how much possession time they have. And the shot, no, doesn't go in. They have a chance now. Can they get it through the defense? And they cannot. Dutty Sue takes it up and takes it away. That disc going now straight down into Madness's zone. Let's see if they can pretty insanely click, clear this one out of their zone. Now, Magnus has a hand on the disc. Again, taking their time like they always do. Madness, they are a team that does like to take their time. I have noticed this, especially just from watching this game. Um, I just want to point out right now that they have actually managed to accumulate 74% of the possession. Oh. And also now, <laughs> and also now um, nine, uh, nine points as well. I'd like to point that out. Very interesting. Uh, you know, we have got some very epic statistics. But um, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, man. Very epic statistics. Give me the bullet, give me the bullet, because they are seven points up. Jinx! It's Jinx! How's it going, Jinx? Always, always beautiful. I'm a very, very recurring uh, viewer. And my personal best friend. <laughs> so he is going to be passed up, uh, bouncing around there and not quite connecting. Woohoo, needs to get some goals on the board and he needs to break the silence. It's been here for quite a while. Gizmo Dave, toss it back! And they're going to get it accidentally cleared up through right now. Bouncing it behind, up, above, all around. But Money has it again. Monkey, sorry. As Monkey is going to try and get that one through. One step, two step. Taking their time. Facing out that, that attacker or defender, sorry. And then finding that pass. So now D6 is going to get a hand on it. Going for the anchor. Oh my goodness me. That was fast but did not quite hit the intended target, which is unfortunate. But Monkey Boy, he's got the anchor. Can he make it? They're fumbling oh, with it. Oh, nice. That's a two-pointer. That is a two-pointer. Beautiful. Beautiful well done. Look at that. They're now nine points up. Not just nine points at all. That is a beautiful, beautiful way to start this off. Uh, as they are. But hey, feeling good. And hey. Dimash Smash, if you wanna wanna know how to improve, look at these guys. Look at how they're playing right now. Look at this positioning. The passes. Uh, they're very clean. City Sue's getting it up though. City Sue, no! 
tries to find the gold, but instead finds a fist to the face that is going to get her stunned out. And now she has it recovered once again. Back to the hands of Mangus. Mangus is going to get it through, and now it's not quite clear. Everyone's scrambling on for it. Stun, stun, stun. And Gosmic gets it clear. He's going to get that clear now straight into Manus' zone. However, D69 there to recover. I've got to say, I love his name. He's got some very epic numbers in it. I'm not going to lie. But Gonsic goes for the three-pointer. Unfortunately, not quite making it. And that's going to be a clear now into the midfield. Like a hawk, the mash mash. Oh, yeah. That's what I said. Watch this game like a hawk. Watch Madness like a hawk. Because the level of gameplay they're pulling out, honestly, is madness. It's beautiful. First cast. And they are killing it right now. As D69 takes it up, no! Bounces up and above, they chase it down once again. Can they recover it in time? They can, and they throw it back to their teammate. Working around, Magnus takes it up, takes it down, tries to get it in, and they recover it, they can! Goals open, and D69 oh. takes it in, gets it done, and with that, that is gonna end out this round. A ridiculous 11 points up. Well, we're not gonna end it right now, they have another chance for another goal, but still, 11 points up, it's hard to come back from that. Yeah, I mean, they have lost my first little time. It is really unfortunate. You know, they looked super strong at the start of the round. But, you know, like you said, Magnus coming out on top. It is mad to see as it is their first cast. Now, with hey. four seconds left, I can say, you know, we have got our very own analyst here as well. I hope he's still here at least. Luke, what do you think about that round, man? Man, I mean, what a game. What a game. I, 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 what I thought was exactly madness continued to do exactly what they were doing what they were showing us at that neutral just i mean without that without the player drop uh woohoo you know uh, i don't think i don't know if they would have been, been able to connect i mean their defense was absolutely incredible woohoo some fantastic defensive positioning some fantastic patience some fantastic recoveries uh but at the end of the day i mean madness uh sure they missed eight nine i, I lost count the eight or nine, like incredible, incredible yep. um, sh shots, but but uh, I mean yep. it's about consistency. And while while Madness didn't score for you know three four minutes, they scored seven points in ninety seconds. Yeah, you know, and, and just like that yeah. they turned it around, right? So so I mean Madness, uh, you know it, it's a streaky game. It's back and forth. Um, yeah, but you know what? Uh, Madness, uh, if they keep it up, this game definitely will go their way. But woohoo! I mean, they just need to be able to get those more confident clears, get those confidence stacks, and then we can see an incredible round two. Hell yeah, man! I mean, that's definitely a good, good way of looking at it. I mean, beautiful analysis, as ever. Luke is a genius. I would trust him to uh, be my team captain, whatever. But the point is, <laughs> take us in time. Okay, reads up. Gonna be Gizmo Dave sending that one straight into Magnus' zone. Let's see if Woohoo can turn this around. Woohoo. Uh, Magnus08 has their hand on the disc. Gonna be sending it straight to Monkey Boy. Let's see if they can make a play off this, you know, taking the time in the midfield. This is what we'd like to see so far. Yeah, as they are gonna be uh, taking this one up, down, bouncing around. Can they chase it up? I would trust him to wash my car on a rainy day. <laughs> Madness. Beautiful. I was laughing too much. That, that, was, that should not have got me, but man, that got me. Um, beautiful, beautiful goal there. Oh my god, really nice attack there. I mean, the passing around, the walking out field, taking it in was a lovely way to attack and get that one in. Uh, oh, I'm liking that. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Hopefully. But you're good. That's diamond. Thank you. Uh, as it is going to be bouncing around now and taken into the, the uh, woohoo. Oh, no, 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 the madness, take it back again. All right, as they work it up now, taking a shot, working it around. Can they bring it in? Monkey Boy with the disc, Monkey Boy with the pass up field. As Magnus has it right now, the pass comes in once again. The shot, oh, a lovely goalie stun. Oh, that's a beautiful goalie stun, bringing that one in and bringing that pass into a goal that is a lovely lovely way to do it i'll tell you what luke I'll tell you what all right i'm, I'm gonna do you a, a, a deal your analysis was so so good i think that you should just just come cast right now what i get promoted just like yeah that. dude it's my first day oh what? welcome don't be, luke's a very new caster you may have heard of him in the community but he's never cast before so yeah be nice to him 
I'm, I'm, I'm honored, but Madness is going to move this upfield. It's going to connect to Morkshan Media, who's just going to slow it down, looking for an opportunity here. But the long pass doesn't quite connect. And again, there's those recoveries from Wuhu. But can they get the clear? They do. But where's the stuns? Where's the stacks? They get back. Do they read those first? But Madness is just too crazy. And uh, D is going to clear that the other way. Yeah, taking it back up again. Ooh, he missed it down. Everyone misses the disc. It's too slippery. As someone put grease on it beforehand, no one able to collect it, but they do have recovered now as it is Madness taking that one up. No! Oh, with a woohoo! The stacks are too quick, too fast. They send it straight through again. And now it's bouncing. Now it's diving. Now they're chasing it down. Can they get there? Jot takes it. So Silly Sue. Silly Sue now. Can she find the pass in time? Yes! A beautiful cut. The shot a little oh. bit too far away means it's not going to go in. Unfortunate. That is still going to be bouncing away right now. Yeah, I mean, it's going to go back. But again, oh, no one able to read this disc. It's just consistency. I mean, both these teams, so new. New to season uh, four. I almost said season three. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? Regardless, they're getting it up. Uh, but at the end of the day, I mean, they are just getting in those reps, getting in those pressures. But D is diving into the bubble. And yes, no! Not quite hitting the back of the net, unfortunately, as it is a bit of a self-clear. Yeah, self-clear is not what you're looking to see. But still, Magnus takes it through and he's shot on a steal! Oh, the beautiful steal there! Gomzik, that is a beautiful way to do some goal lane defense. That is what you want to see. And they did just jump out of goal and just, just took it out of that attacker's hands before they can even shoot. As Monkey Boy has the disc once again. They weren't able to capitalize on it fully, but they hit six minutes to go. Only four points down. They can absolutely bring this back to that round three. You absolutely can. And there's a long three from D. Oh my goodness. Seven up madness. Seven up. Wow. All right. That's hard to come back from, but y you can do it. You can, in six minutes, you can actually get 18 points. 18 uh, points. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Easy. Check out our YouTube channel, Echo Arena Master League. Uh, if it's not posted yet, it will be posted uh, where there is a, a maximum mathematical time. It's a world record, as far as we're aware, on stream, where they got 10 points in 92 seconds. What? That is what game maximum was that? math. Misfits against Druids. It happened uh, two weeks ago now. Uh, so check out the uh, check out the YouTube channel there. Uh, but so there's tons of time. There is way more wow. than 90 seconds, and they don't need to score 10 points. Uh, but this is still going to be Madness looking for a dive, but doesn't quite connect. As it's going to bounce around, but not quite connect to Madness as it might get picked up. And yes, it does by Woohoo, who gets that all the way down the field, down the arena. That might bounce in. No way. Oh, but a little bit too uh, too fast is uh, Magnus, who's feeling big and uh, going to clear it the other way. Druids versus Misfits, right? Misfits. Is that the one? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I got the link. All right. There you go, put it in the chat. Read that, watch that, there you go. That's insane, I'm gonna watch it afterwards. I'm gonna like, save that, because that sounds so good. And, then and I they came, it's round two, by the way. It's round two, and they came back to reverse sweep in round three. They, as they scored 10 points, 92 seconds to come back from a, uh, a nine point deficit, and then one. That's ridiculous, <laughs> man. Because normally I go with like 30 seconds a goal, right? Three points, yeah. 30 seconds each one. Whoa! Oh, beautiful goal in right there. Oh my god. This guy is getting it behind the uh, behind the bubble, behind the goal, on the backboard, and all diving on it before defenders can even move, just taking it in. Two points higher, nine points up. But yeah, ridiculous, right? Yeah, absolutely ridiculous. Uh, but back in the action, nine points up, four minutes. I mean, still, lots of time for Woohoo. They just need to slow it down. I agree with you, Queen Aang. I mean, they're getting the stacks off. They're getting there. They just don't have the accuracy. Oh, but neither does the Madness. That's unfortunate sight to see off the ding ring. Uh, but it will get recovered here by Magnus again. Magnus now over to Murkshan. Murkshan gets stunned, though, immediately for their efforts. Fantastic defense from Woohoo here. But we'll just get slowed down by Monkey Boy, who loses a hand on it. Dare say an intentional. Uh, baiting a defender, but no, it's going to bounce around and uh, bounce through. But it's a bit of a self-clear, but it does pick up to Magnus, who dives in. No, the cut, the dive, the ding again. Okay, the ding again, and unfortunate. No, the save again. Oh, some beautiful work here. Ah, uh, they can't hold it out forever, but man, madness, take that one in. 
Who is doing a beautiful job of this this lovely, lovely little bit of, of defense right here? Uh, defensive work as they are, just doing a, a really, really nice level of, of like holding them off, right? And that's yeah. half battle, honestly. Half battle, then, as you said, the other half is attacking, and unfortunately, at the minute, they're not quite able to get those attacks working, right? Yeah, yeah, they're not. I mean, uh, lag, whether it is or not, I mean, from, from my from, from my perspective, it does seem uh, like uh, somebody is disco disking. Oh, wow, yeah. There's a, there's a, there's a bounce, too. Mark Shan, 13 0. That was wild, disco disc. Yeah, same thing on stream. I was, uh, Having a party on my screen. Um, but yeah, still 13 points up. Unlucky for some. Definitely unlucky for Woohoo right now. I mean, Madness are looking so strong. Two minutes to go, babe. Uh, is that possible? Wait, let's look at that. Let's get it. Um, 90 seconds. 1 minute 30. Yes! If they did the same game that, uh, that, that game I put in the chat is, then they can bring it back in that time. Yeah. How hard could it be? Let's get the world record. <laughs> Best. Whatever. <laughs> How hard, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but they are going to work it up again, and it is again madness with a madness level of attacks. Again, working it up is going to be uh, Mork. Uh, Mork, sorry. Mork, I've misread the name. Mork, but it gets taken out once again. Yeah, it's a slow race to this disc. Now it will get picked up by Monkey Boy. He's just gonna move it downfield. Cut, no. Will get recovered though by Magnus. Looks for the dive. No. Oh, the shot, another miss. It's so unlucky. As that is going to bounce around. But get clear out by Gizmo Dave. All the way through, no, bouncing low. Who's there? Mm. It's Mark Shan, who's gonna clear it the other way. Yeah, taking it the other way, taking it up if they can. Magnus with the disc right now works it up, gets the pass. Last minute of the game as we are coming in here for the last few seconds, ticking down. But don't go anywhere. We do have another matchup straight afterwards. So watch the end of this one and make sure you do because Monkey Boy has that disc right now. And that's going to burn time. It's going to burn time and take their time and chill, chill out as it is going to be a pass. A nice pass. Magnus with the disc. Magnus gets the pass across again. Some really nice control right now. As they are going to be D taking that one up for the start. Like, oh! oh my god! D6 drinking it straight past the defender. Straight past the, uh, the the goalie there and straight into the goal. And that is going to be it. That is going to seal the fate. Seal the deal. Nail in the coffin. As Madness take this game ridiculous. 16 to 0. Yeah, maybe one more, but uh, no, not gonna happen. Fantastic game from Madness. I mean, some good looks there from Woohoo, but I mean, definitely lots to learn, slowing it down and playing their game. But let's see, uh, before we go to this next match, what Dime has to say on Silence. Well, um, I don't know if, if my Silence are gonna be lagging a bit. I am experiencing some network issues at the moment. It's a bit unfortunate, but uh, I can try. I hope it's all right. I hope it's not cutting out too much. Um, well, obviously, score very much in Magnus's favor they did manage to take the round which is obviously very good for them and especially considering this is also their first casted match i was expecting it to be way closer than this i'm not going to lie you know again maybe they were going to experience some casting nerves, but you know they honestly they played extremely well both teams did even though you know woohoo zero to 16 in the last round very unfortunate but yeah that's all i've got to say it was again a close round Close match, yep. even though score was so off. I agree, man. They're definitely, definitely closer than. I mean, you know, we saw who saving so many goals and everything. Man, that just had that aggressive attacks, but do not fear that match may be over. But we have more to come. We have in literally right now, right this second, uh, Biscuiteers versus Black Mirror. These guys are as well EU, and they are both. Let's check the I think gold and silver. I think gold and silver. I'm pretty sure they're gold and silver. They are both gold and silver right now. I'll be here in just a minute. So do not go anywhere. We'll be back in just a moment.
right, and we're back. That was it. That was all the time you get. We're we'll straight back into it. Right now, we have another matchup. It is going to be the Biscuiteers versus Black Mirror. EU Silver and EU Gold. These guys are going to be... Uh, they, they waited around for us. They moved their time of their match so they get casted. And then they waited 15 extra minutes for us. Much love. Ran over the start. So much love. Absolutely so much love to them. These guys, we really appreciate you when you watch the stream back again. But... I am Retech Worm here. We do have next to me the one you see. You don't see him right now, but we have a voice in the void all the way from NA. Gran as well from NA is going to be the lovely Cam's JG with Dime himself on the uh, uh, sidelines there analyzing this game. I mean, Luke, getting the ready ups here before we start out, you know, what do you want to see here? What are you, what are you hoping for? Man, I, I'm hoping for, uh, for some. Uh, I'm hoping for the next level up in consistency. We saw bronze. Now we see silver, now we see high silver gold, low gold. I mean, uh, I expect to see more consistency here, a little bit faster speed. I do want to shout out, everyone on the Biscuiteer is uh, is British, and everyone in Black Mirror is French, so we have the old rivalry uh, between uh, fr uh, fr uh, France and uh, and Britain. Uh, so uh, let's see there who's going to win the, the real, the true battle uh, is in Echo Arena. It's not it's not the anything else, obviously. Uh, but yeah, I'm expecting to see uh, some, uh, some a little bit faster play, but... Nevertheless, I mean, uh, uh, both these teams, I mean, they can go either way. Absolutely, man. I, I've played against Biscuiteers a lot. They've been a team since, like, season, like, three? Two? Let's check. Let's check that. Uh, you can pull up their page, you know? They've been a team since season them. two, and uh, Black Mirror's new as of season four. All right. Well, you've already got the info there. I can't find it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, ridiculous, right? Season two. They were there when we started up as well. So these guys are veterans. They know what they're doing. So we have to see how that, that matches up. You know, the, the experience of Biscuiteers versus the new Rises Black Mirror. Luke, let's see what they can do. So Retef UK versus Luke France is Newton dead. I mean, I am a French citizen. He is a, Brit a British citizen. Ooh. So, uh, all right. All right, let's do it. Right, I don't know what we're wagering. Uh, but it's going to be <laughs> wing it, man. I guess we'll just wing it, I guess. Uh, as a, Maybe it was a sign. Uh, as a Project Rich T is going to dive in. No, it looks for the back. Uh, shout out to Project Rich T. Oh, he was in the chat earlier, I think. Uh, can now connect with Wing It Man. Wing It Man juking around. Will it find the connection? No, it won't. Uh, because it's going to get turned right back by Mysteriousm. Yeah, sent straight back. And they're going to pass it up. And there's the clear all the way, all the way through, in fact. As it does chase down straight into the hands of Project. Project Rich T is going to take that one in hand and try and get it cleared if they can. They can't quite just yet. So Rich T gets it once again. No! Straight to the hands of making off as it is going to get past. Up oh, the shot of the goal and the goal. He saves it. Wing it, man. I remember Wing it, man, as well. I played pubs Wing it, man. Like, way back. You're in, just like, friends with everybody. Well, I mean, yeah. Okay. We kept just knows everybody. That's, 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 just, that's just what we're getting out of this. That's just what we're uh, getting out of this. But there's all a... All my ooh. best friends. <laughs> 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 all right. All right, all right. As it is gonna bounce the other way. What? Yeah. What? What? What I was gonna say was that Winger Man here is also an established like, veteran. You know, it's great to see him here. These, these players coming in, um, and like they've been here for so long. These guys know what they're doing. So yeah, really establishing that thing that these guys have absolutely been here for so long now. Whereas making off, no, it's not making off yet. Whereas um, who is it? It is Black Mirror, brand new here coming into this, and looking really strong. So. Is gonna get picked up here by Mysterious. Sent back to Winged Mad. Sent back to Wisteriasm. It's like a, it's like a game of catch. Uh, but it is gonna get picked up here again. Maybe soon. Yes. Making off. Making twos. No. Maybe next time. Uh, as it's still zero zero two minutes in, but it's gonna get passed across by Quizzer. <laughs> Quizzer. Uh, will connect to making off. Making off. Connect into Muzor. Muzor diving in. To anchor two. Oh, oh my goodness. Black Mirror starting us off. Oh, very nice start. That was a beautiful way to get into that one. As they are now two and a half minutes. We have got that first one down. Uh, yeah, sorry, Newton, to uh, not tell you how long. I got excited and unplugged my microphone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anything. <laughs> but it is going to be the Biscuiteers now with a pass, working it up. They get a pass one side, then the other, but no! Oh, it does not quite go where they wanted it to. Instead, it is going to be making off, taking that one, making off the disc as they chase it down, but no. Instead, Biscuiteers cook it straight. No! Again! We have a chance now! Bang Bond shot comes in, but it goes past the goal and it is going to be cleared away. It's going to be cleared away, though. Connecting with Mysterious and, and 
The passes haven't quite been connecting from either team uh, off Geo or just right into the other hands of the opponents, but there's a long shot. No, not so long at all, but it's going to get recovered by Quizzer. Looking for the pass across. Won't quite connect now. Mysterium. Looking for an option. No. Waiting. Patiently. Very Patiently. patiently. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. But hey, they're up too. They can wait all day. True. <laughs> there's a cut, there's a dive, Whoa, and there's no. a save! No, the recovery! Oh, oh they get oh. it done. Oh. That's like the hair on the torches race there. They, they waited, you know, plodding along, taking their time. And then right at the end, turns out they're actually a hair as well. And they just shine that goal. Uh, yeah. Beautifully well done. Honestly. Say, that's so, so nice. <laughs> Quietly sneaking up on Echo Unit in a natural environment. <laughs> oh, these documentaries, they, they were, they were. They are the it same is. back. You know, that's the thing. When you, when you don't pressure your opponents because um, they have control of the floor space. Lovely stone coming in. They can just do it. They can just take their time and wait for you to come to them, find the pressure, and then bring it in. But it's getting passed across, working up once again. Biscuitiers trying to get an attack, but Black Mirror is there. No! Biscuitiers once again, a shot does not quite connect. Can they recover and get it away? They can. Yeah, they can, as it is going to go all the way downfield. Black Mirror not quite connecting with the disc just yet because the back stack from Biscuitiers is here. They're waiting. They're getting pressure. It's a pass to the stack, but no, oh, the stack whoa. doesn't quite connect. But neither does that pass again. They're just oh playing this God. game of catch. Everyone's friends here. Uh, but oh. Black Mirror RF4 <laughs> looking to go two more. The bounce. No, not going to quite connect as that will get turned around by Oculus. Oh, shout out to Oculus GGL, a part of the Tyra community, as that it was going to get uh, sent through and sent away. Yeah, sent away. Oh, the. Whoa, oh my God. That was so close to being a mail slot. That was so, so close. Also, did you see? Also, did you see the level of that, like, that uh, stack save earlier? When the stack, the shot, no, no, quick connect. Um, the, the pass was really good, but the stack just dived in sideways, intercepted it a meter in front of them. Yeah, Black Mirror, like, they, the control right now is so good. Definitely the next level up from the last game we saw, Luke. You're absolutely right. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I was hoping I would see that, and I certainly am. Uh, but yep. there's a long shot that would have been a male slot. I oh, oh, I that oh millimeters. Uh, but they get the oh. three, make it off, making it 7 0. Damn, can't believe he got a headbutt with his hand. Um, but beautifully <laughs> well done that. A nice extra three points is definitely going to be feeling good. Because right now, Biscuiteers. Maybe cooking up some attacks right now, but they're not cooking up any goals. The biscuits turn a little bit, a little bit stale. They need to make sure that they can keep them fresh with some goals. Momentum on their side uh, as they are. No, missing that first pass. They're, they're looking so strong. They're nearly getting it, but right now they're just not quite able to finish it off. And as soon as they do, you know, might see a very different game coming out. But right now it is Black Mirror who are seeing themselves with those goals free and the goal. Can they get the cut instead? Oh, it's beautiful. That's the to do. Mysterium was definitely a Mysterium mystery for them. Did not see the player, did not see the cut, did not see that goal come through. Yeah. All right. All right. They're looking yeah. good. They're looking really good. They're putting up a fight. Yeah. Uh, but hey, there's 3.30. Hey. We, know what, we know what's possible. The comeback. The comeback oh, yeah. is always possible. Biscuiteers, I mean, as we said, they are the old <sighs> kid. They're the established group. They're the... Uh, I don't know what analogy I'm trying to make, so I'm going to uh, stop making yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> but they have more reps in. I mean, they have more experience as a team. I mean, they definitely, uh, I definitely can see them coming back from this one. If not, maybe in round two. But there's a cut, and they're looking to break that silence. Diving in, and no! Making off, saving that one, and sending it off uh, to the other side. Yeah, bouncing down through. They have this again, the three points. Oh, they get it! Woo! Oh, beautifully well done here. 12 points up is Black Mirror. They are so clean right now. They are sweet shot, dude. Dad, dude, absolutely sweet. Sweet indeed. Sweet as a biscuit. <laughs> a very sweet biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, they are. I mean, they're yeah. uh, making cookies and eating them uh, because... Uh, oh. oh no. 
Oh no. Oh, I thought it could have been a submarine shot, but that's just an open three. And they save those, but Zero not able to get that clear. Still Zero on the board, unfortunately. But there's a long shot, bounce shot, open goal. And oh, just like nice. that, now it's no longer Zero. Now it's two. Biscuiteers breaking the silence. Breaking the silence. This could be what they need right now. They have two minutes to go. They can get it back. We know they can. New to that. Ah, oh, Black Mirror French. Is that what you meant? Yeah. It's one team English, one team French. That's what oh, I said. My... No one. Dude. Retap never listens to me. This is I everyone in meant, chat like... heard me. Retap <laughs> just went in one ear and out the other. I thought you meant like you and me. 1v1. <laughs> Well, that's the whole point, because I'm French. I, well, I, I live in Canada, but uh, I'm... Oh, oh my shot. God! What a shot! Whoa. Oh, my God. But, yeah, that's the whole point, dude. The whole point is that everyone on Black Mirror is French. Everyone on oh Biscuit Gears is British. And and we it, we could have had a friendly wager. It's too late now, because we know the French are going to win. Uh, but uh, we could have a friendly wager where you represent Britain and I represent French. Oh, uh, I'm still down for it, dude. I believe in my, my British friends, the Biscuiteers. Come on, boys. Get that royal blood in you. Um, as it is going to be passing up. Like... Hey, Retech, why do colors change left to right side? Oh, yes. I love this. Newton, yes. Dad. Retech, Come tell on, us. dude. Tell us. Come on, man. <laughs> what? Retech doesn't this know is, just... is the question. I mean, he learned it in one brief sentence. <laughs> When I explained it uh, yesterday or two days ago, and before no then he had no idea, and he probably has already forgotten. Uh, so there's he's no just need, a pro man. in all Come the on. ways, and he's just a pro in all the ways. Uh, but there's a long three, not connecting though. Um, uh, a miss there from Black Mirror, as it is going to get slapped back from Biscuiteers. Yeah. <laughs> slapped back from Biscuiteers. They have it again. They have possession. They have some beautiful control right now. They work it up. They get that pass. They move in close. They get the pass again. They get the cut. No, the save comes in. A beautiful lot of saves to come in there. Was that wing it man again? As they get the clear through all the way up. Cool goal. Not quite. It is going to be making off, making off like this once again. Getting it through. Getting it clear. And burning down the last five seconds of this game. I, you know, you're right, Newton. All right. All right. Whoa, what? Oh my god, last second goal? Dude, I was already moving on to the next point, but never mind. Beautiful, beautiful goal there. Matt Mirror absolutely killing it, man. Crushing it. They have absolute control right now, and I would love to know, because I'm just a dumb, dumb caster, right, Newton? I want to know what it is they're doing that's good right now, and I wish there was someone who, like, like my man Dime? Who could tell me? Dime, analyze. Let's go. Well, you know, round coming out 2-17 to 17 in favour of Black Mirror Biscuiteers. They are quite a good team. I've seen them play. Haven't played against them, though. I mean, I've played against most teams, but not this team. Uh, I was hoping they'd pull out something quite good, but unfortunately, Black Mirror, their pressure was on and on and on. They did not stop, and that came through. It showed as well. Biscuiteers have got to work on their defence right now. And I think their stacks a bit as well, you know, Black Mirror's stack pressuring, uh, I think midway through the round, or maybe during the end, was quite good. Honestly, all I've got to say really is that Biscuiteers, they've got to wake up, man. They've got to get their selves in the mentality. Maybe it's some casting nerves, maybe they're having some really unfortunate network issues like I had earlier, we're not going to talk about that though. But um, they've just, they've got to get their, they've got to get their stuff together, man. They have, they've definitely got to get their stuff together, that's hard. It can be really, really hard to do when you have momentum against you, but hey, they've had a minute. You know, they had that minute break. They've come into it again. New round, new me. Luke, let's go. Let's go round two. Uh, as this is going to just be bouncing all the way through, but ho, 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 not quite connecting with anything or anybody. That's a rare... That took me a self-clear too. Oh no, it will get picked up as Wuzu. Oh, oh. oh my goodness, that would have been a shot. What? That would have been a play, and that's an open three, but no, we're not going to connect this time as there's a bass back and oh. making off, makes in for two. Black Mirror on the board first. Wow. Okay, that was so unlucky. Like, that clears did not quite go through. The player who tried to collect it missed it. Black Mirror grabbed it, didn't get a three, but they still got that two, and it is going to be Biscuiteers not on top once again, but with the joust. And they have a chance. You know, I believe in them. This is a fresh round. Just treat it as fresh. Treat it as a new game. And come into this as strong as they are. Gonna have disc. No! Oh, they look for the pass, but the player from Black Mirror is too quick. They take it back again, though. Project Rich T. 
and it is going to bounce up, down, below. Can they recover it in time? They can. Open, 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 open. Not open enough. No, the shot, the pocket just misses past. That is going to bounce away once again. Yeah, passing away once again as Mysterium looking for a clear. It's not going to quite connect as it will connect now with Oculus, who is going to send that one right back. But, man, that bounce clear is so unfortunate. We see it all the time. Heck, uh, I even see it in my own VOD reviews all the time. And that's not the clear that you're looking for. That tunnel bounce is never going to work whoa. out. But it's going to work out for Black Mirror. Not quite, but they have another opportunity. And they double ping. <gasps> Ho oh, ho ho the Biscuiteers are feeling sweet, they're feeling lucky, but it's gonna get cleared through, but no one's there besides Black Mirror for the recovery. They're so lucky. Man, they're on the edge of their seas right now from that one, or edge of their play space. As it is gonna be Mysterium taking that one up, up and away, all the way through in fact. But of course they are there first right now to take it through once again. As uh... Musa has the disc, they pass it up, they pass it behind, can they get there in time? They can! No, the Brisketeer is doing a great job holding them off right now. As uh, they do clear it through, that one is the clay you're looking for, Jinx. That's it, they chase it down, no! Can they recover in time? They have the chance, they have the disc, can they find the cup? No, they just pass it too high, and it is going to bounce away. They're going to bounce away. That's through. Making off. Looking for a long three. Is that going to bounce in too? No, it won't. But it will bounce into the hands of Project Rich T, who is going to send it right back. I mean, uh, we always love to talk about how uh, the EU Master Tier meta is constantly changing as well as any Master OC Master. And But I mean, EU, it's that cup and clear. And we see that uh, very, very clear right now. There's another clear all the way through. Where's the stacks? Well, it's the Biscuit Gears coming through for the defensive stack. Really getting pressured though. And that bounce is not the clear they were looking for. It's still stuck. Yeah, stuck. Unfortunate. They need to get those clears working for them. They're not at the minute. And that's deadly. But they do get it back once again. Here's another clear. And again, straight back into the hands of the other player. Unfortunately, not what they need once again. Can they get it through down the backboard shot? Bounce above, above. They recover it. Making off, making off the clear. No, it's going to bounce below. Going to bounce up. Going to bounce around. Can they recover it in time again? And again, we're just seeing it taken out by Biscuiteers, recovered by Back Mirror. Attack comes in, Big Tears get it back, and again and again until eventually they're gonna get it through. Yeah, they are gonna try to get it through, uh, but it's not gonna connect to. Uh, also, shout out to Ueshi from Japan. Much love to yeah. you. As uh, making off oh. is gonna be five. Oh, Black Mirror taking a uh, command and lead. Well, I looked away for, for a second there to look at that chat, and they got that free pointer, man. And that is the thing. If you leave even a goal for a second, you don't focus for a second like I didn't, you're going to get a free point so against you when you have attacks coming this consistently and, and quickly. So definitely need to watch those clears, make sure they have control a little bit longer. Great clear through channel. They're going to pass it up again, it's bouncing, but that could be so good for them if they can recover it in time. But no, it is going to be Black Mirror taking it through once again, clearing it up, up and bouncing straight towards the goal. And they recover it, they take it in. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful clear. That's the kind of clear you want, and that's the way to finish it. Yeah. I mean, uh, Biscuiteers just... They just have to find themselves. And the pause does come through from blue. So the Biscuiteers not even pausing. Black Mirror coming through. Maybe a tech pause. Uh, so, I mean, Diamond Man, I mean, what are you seeing here in the second round? Well, what I can say I'm seeing is a slightly, I don't want to say it, but Biscuit is, again, they're still not being able to work on what, what I've said previously. They've got to get their stacks down. They've got to get that defense down. They have managed, I believe, to save some more shots, but Black Mirror is still powering through that. Current score, 7 to 0. Halfway through the round, honestly, I'm just, I don't know what to look out for here, really. I mean, both teams, they have still played quite well. Black Mirror especially, you know, like I said, again, seven points up. Big, big difference, point differential. We'll see, though, if Biscuitis can get a comeback. We'll see if they can, you know, especially now in a timeout, maybe some sort of momentum uh, pause. I mean, again, like you said, with Black Mirror, they did hit the pause. Maybe they're just trying to get some water, you know, try and rehydrate, try and still take this round without Biscuitis getting any points. We'll see, though. I'm just, honestly, I'm looking forward to how it's going to go. That's what I've got to say. Yeah. yeah, man, absolutely same, honestly. You know, we, we still have so much time here. It's just a half the round gone. I Means there's so, so much time to bring this back to get back on top. I mean, the minute that we're seeing, shots taken.
right? Possession time, pretty much even. 50-50, 4 minutes 50 on the side of Biscuiteers, 4 minutes 20 on Black Mirror. But that's not the same story all the way because shots taken, 20% of Biscuiteers and 80% of them, 80% of the shots taken have been done by Black Mirror. You know, although Biscuiteers have that disc, they're just not able to get through and take those shots. And that means that, again, of course, they're going to be getting goals scored against them because they just cannot get the opportunities. And having the more opportunities, you know, the more opportunities you can get, the more likely you are. Even if your attacks aren't working out, the more opportunities you can get, the more likely you are to get attack anyway. Yeah, 100%. I mean, just uh, just a dominant game. I mean, I, I, yep. I have to shout out making off those 16 points to their name. One oh, six. nice. But, but you know what? Fantastic offense from them, but every single player on the Biscuiteers have at least two saves. Oculus with two, Project Rich T with three, as well as zero, and Winget Man with four. I mean, the defensive game of Biscuiteers is absolutely insane, but offense will always be defense in that quarter there for the time being. So... I mean, uh, as much as great, uh, shout out to whoever had nine ping. Uh, was that zero? Zero with nine ping. What? <laughs> That's dope. Um, but uh, nevertheless, I mean, let's see. It's time. The time is now. The time is now. They have five minutes to go, and they need to get this round in the bag. They need to get seven points back. They're going to bring this round, but no. Muzo the disc. Muzo the clear, sending it through. Turning it down once again. They are going to recover it and slap it forward. Bouncing up, up, open goal! The bounce starts from Wing It Man! He does wing it and wings it straight into that goal. That's what they need. Dude, this is exactly what they need. The first goal of the round coming in just over half the time gone. Half the time to go. They can bring this back. Yeah, they really can. Um, but, I mean, it, it, it is time. It is time. The time is now. Fantastic book. Highly recommend. Uh, I've been recommending it all week. I don't anyone's going to read it. But, nevertheless, uh, Biscuiteers uh, going to be passing across back now to Muzor. Muzor um, all the way through, but all the way back by zero um, as it is going to bounce up into the bubble. Who's there first? Oh, I thought they may have been able to get the stun, but Biscuiteers not quite connecting. Zero having a lot of fun. Dunking, diving. Um, as uh, it is going to be Project Rich T, no Muzor, sending it back, certainly, uh, but all the way through mid, not getting read by the backline player, Black Mirror, open three, mail slot, maybe, bounce shot, no, no. but the stole and the goal oh. will not say yes, it'll say no, as it does bounce out and cleared out by the Biscuiteers. Oh my god, so unfortunate, I was so close there. But it's going to bounce away to the side, chase it down. But once again, Black Mirror have the disc, they're sending it through, sending it up, sending it down behind. Bouncing, they can recover, can they? They can. They do have it, Muzo, that clean stat. Look at that play on Nest. Nest takes it out, but Nest takes it in. Oh, a clean attack. You know what, as well, Goalie kind of knew where it was coming from. They had their hands up, but the shot was so quick, they just could not stop it right in that pocket. Black Mirror still feeling good. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a question, Luke. All right. Yeah. This book you keep recommending, you keep mentioning it. I Googled it. I could not find it last time. <laughs> Which one is it? Uh, I found a okay, film. Let, me, let me pull it up. You cast. You cast. I'll, I'll pull it up. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, you do the important work. I'll just, I'll just talk. As it is going to be Mysterio. I found it. The, the Time list. Is Now by Joan right. Chisler. That was so quick. Yeah, well, right, you cast. My, I'll find it. <laughs> uh, as it is going to get worked up. I thought, of course, that makes sense. Um, bouncing around right now. Oops, I've lost my thing there. They take it back once again. Mysterium with the disc and just confidence. It's exuberating confidence right now. They're feeling good. They're showing it. And they're definitely working this one up as they do take it back right now. A shot works up. This could be good. No. Oh, two minutes to go. All they have is two minutes. They need to make those two minutes count. Yeah, and that's going to bounce all the way through into the bubble. Will get picked up by Quizzer. Quizzer, bounce shot. Oh, oh. what an angle. 30, 11, 3. Yeah. Okay, this this is not great for the side no. of Biscuiteers. No, it's But not. I want a round three, says Jinx. Dude, same. And it can happen. It can happen. They can do it right now. 
if they play very clean. If they play so unbelievably clean, I mean, I'm telling you, like, right now, they need to not miss these passes. The clears, they... <gasps> oh, my God! What? Oh, my God, dude! Ooh, okay, okay. Let's look at that play real quick again. Right? Right from the start. The joust comes out. The clear comes out. Does not quite work, so instead they recover. They send it through for a long shot. Bounces away from the goal, but the stack is so fast from Black Mirror before the Biscuiteers who are right next to it can even reach it. They've taken it back, taken it in, and got Chicago on Oculus just for good measure. Yeah. And uh, now it's going to get picked up by Project Rich. They need to hit that, but no! Making off says no thank you, no siree, as it is going to get sent back the other way. Way, but the recoveries are there. One minute left on the clock. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ooh, we'll boy. If they can get three more. Uh, zero looking for the long bounce, but no. Muzor just sends it right back. Yeah, right back. Right where I came from. Bounce up, bounce down, bounce around. Can they recover in time? Can they get another goal here? If it is going to be bouncing up above all behind. No. Not going to go in. Koala goes a proud mum looking at her team. Oh, is this your team? Are you the Biscuiteers or are you the Black Mirror? Uh, either well, way, well, well. If it's if it's a proud mom, then it's probably the winning team. But they're um, also crying. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Uh, they're just going to bounce all proud. the way through, and uh, we'll get connected with nobody, but it will get slapped Dude, through my there. I'd be proud of the of Biscuiteers right now. The level of the quality they're playing, like holding out against all odds right now, the tough game, It the captain, it's me. This does not help. <laughs> Captain of which team? <laughs> and that is going to be the game. The Biscuiteers, the Black Mirror. It is going to be Black Mirror. Taking this one, beautiful, beautiful 10 point lead. Confident, coming in, able to get that, that win against a much longer standing team. Uh, definitely making the way into goal potentially after this, as they're feeling good. But man, that was a good matchup. Uh, Dime, expert in the field here, what are you seeing? Well, all I'm seeing again, Biscuiteers, their stacks were not quite up to par against Black Mirror, you know, especially with the long shot coming in from, I believe it was making off. Um, they weren't, a I mean, they were able to get to it a lot quicker, especially, you know, even before Biscuiteers, I think even before they saw it, which, for the record, very difficult to get such fast stacks. And again, I keep saying this, especially in a such high press situation where you're being casted and this match could probably determine, like, your next... VRML rank, it's such a high press situation. Black Mirror, they've just executed it perfectly. And Biscuiteers, you know, unfortunate game for them. Maybe they just were nervous a bit. Maybe they're having a few technical issues. But it was just, honestly, I hate to be the breaker of bad news. It, wasn't, it just wasn't a good game for them. I'm going to be completely honest. But you never know. This is just the beginning of their journey uh, from being casted. And yes, especially, you know, they're going to come back. I know they're going to come back. They're going to come yeah. back stronger in the next week maybe even in next season but um yeah so great game i agree fully man really good game biscuiteers looking so strong here but black mirror just cr absolutely crushing it dominating and getting very strong but hey with that with that beautiful match that we've just had that is gonna be of tonight's cast of the eu matches we have more later over in na but obviously pff, no one cares you only care about EU. I get that. I feel that too. So that is going to be it, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but, you know, while we're here, while you're here, before we've all left, I'm going to catch you out and make sure you guys make sure you go to a few different things. First of all, our YouTube channel. Go watch it. I'm here the video right here. The Luke, you cast it? The one with the uh, 10 goals? Yeah. Yeah, Luke casted it. And go watch it right now. There it is. On our YouTube channel, it is going to be a very quick... Um, I'm getting at... Yo, what up, son? How's it going, dude? Dude, Eric. Uh, oh, it's reset. Yeah, hey, it's me. Um, <laughs> it's me right here. <laughs> As uh, it is going to be uh, that channel there. Watch that video. It is, what was it, Luke? World record, 10 points, 90 seconds. Yeah, that isn't actually the video. There is an exclusive non-stop clip that will be released shortly, but that is the overall game. Misfits for oh. Um So, uh, yeah, make sure you stay tuned. Hit the notification bell so you do get notified yep. when, that, when that video does come out. 
Uh, but it's still in the editing stage. But uh, yeah, there will be a, a nonstop clip of those 90 uh, to 91 seconds where they have yeah. to come back and then win round three, River Sweep. I think that's so dope. Especially because they lost so cool. like, big time in round one. Like it was like the hypest match of the day for me. Anyway. Oh, amazing, uh, man. Check it out. Check out our YouTube channel. Check out all our socials. Check out uh, everything, uh, including our sponsors, because they are dopest. Uh, HyperX, Asterian Products, Pro2 VR, Rebuff Reality, Ooh. VR Cover, and VRWare.net. True. Also, uh, shout out to uh, IgniteVR.gg and the Spark application for providing all those stream statistics. But as I always like to say, and I, and I really do mean it every single time, Jinx, uh, Retap, Fats Dude Eric, uh, Newton Dad, Jeff FR, um, Azure, Kerbal Ueshi, Koala Girl, um, Azure. Uh, everyone, everyone in uh, chat, everyone. also, uh, uh, Damash, Damash, that's the name I was trying to find, Damash, Mash, every single person in chat, even if you are in the future watching this VOD, uh, on YouTube or on Twitch, much love to you, seriously, uh, for being a part of the Veramel community and, uh, yeah. and, uh, and Echo Arena, uh, it seriously wouldn't be the same without you, and I wouldn't do this as much without you, so, uh, thank you for, True. uh, for helping me be an addict and, uh, uh, and, and not recover uh, um, but nevertheless yeah, that's, that's go. all for me uh, and uh, I guess we'll see you next time won't we retap we will before we leave production team everyone EU members we want more of you guys come join us EU production team application right there oh I just deleted it there you go um, production team application come join us guys come in here you can be a caster you can be cams you can be creators team helping make those beautiful videos whatever it is we would like you to come apply and we'll be looking, me and Luke right here, we'll be looking through the applications, we'll have a nice little chat with you and we're very friendly, we promise. Aren't we? Yes, we are. True. We, are. we and, uh... can self-certify as nice. Um, but yeah, with that, that is actually, actually going to be it right there. Thanks so much everyone for watching, you have been wonderful and we will see you next time. Season 4 of VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX Asterian Products VRWare Rebuff Reality VR Cover and ProTube VR <laughs>